Brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. All right, my friends, this continues to be our Healthy Living Edition of KUM News Extra, and the doctor is still in. Dr. Yitka Lam is here from Express Care, and we are talking about alcohol. So, doctor, you ready? Yes. Okay, i got a bunch of questions for you from our online community. So our first question comes from Lee S. He comes from the Central Village of Orta, and he asked, Doctor, does long-term drinking put you at a higher risk for certain types of cancer? It does when you drink to excess. Uh, safe amounts of alcohol would be two drinks a day um, uh, of, of either beer or um, harder liquor, two uh, per day is safe. But past that, you do start to put yourself at risk. Basically, anywhere that the alcohol touches, mouth cancer, throat cancer, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, colon cancer, all of these are increased in people um, who drink heavily. In addition, breast cancer in women um, is, is also increased if they drink a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. and is, is that necessarily because of a specific type of alcohol? Is it, you know, maybe like beer or maybe hard liquor? No, it's they're, just all the mm -hmm. they're all equivalent. They're all equivalent. Okay. Okay, so, so drinking too much can put you at some very serious risk. Okay, that's good news. Okay, the um, next question comes from Gina. She doesn't put a village, but we appreciate her question. Nonetheless, she says, Dr. Lama, how come when I drink, I wake up with a hangover the next day, but my other friends don't? Well, uh, it's hmm. a good question. First of all, you're drinking too much, Gina, <laughs> if, you're, if you're getting a hangover. But um, about a quarter of people don't get hangovers, no matter how much they drink. Uh, they're, they're, um, they have lots of enzyme, and they, they don't have that problem. Um, other people are mis are, are have a relative a low, relatively lower amount of uh, enzyme in the liver that processes alcohol, and so they don't detoxify it quite as well, and they will have those residual effects the following day of nausea and headache and um, feeling quite sick. Um, the other thing is that with aging, I don't know your age, Gina, but with aging, people tolerate alcohol much less. So um, you may be uh, getting a little bit older and getting hangovers more easily. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, before we get to our next question, in layman's terms and very succinctly stated, what exactly is a hangover and what causes a hangover? Um, there's a couple of factors. A hangover is feeling sick the, the day after mm -hmm. um, drinking alcohol. Yeah, but there are a couple of factors. Alcohol is quite dehydrating, and especially in our hot climate, people may not be drinking enough water while they're drinking alcohol, mm -hmm. and so they may have the effects of dehydration the following day, dry mouth, headache, mm -hmm. um, feeling uh, nauseated. Um, but the other effect that may happen is just from the toxic effects of the alcohol itself mm -hmm. on the brain and the other parts of our body where um, our body is trying to recover from an actual toxic insult. Mm -hmm. This is, again, if you're drinking heavily, more than two uh, drinks per day. Okay, so also, also drinking while you're playing golf, very, very dangerous. And it, well, it, you, you would really, you shouldn't do that. You should drink lots and lots of water mm -hmm. and then stop for beer at the end of your golf game, not during. It's also going to hurt your golf game, I would assume. I think so. so. <laughs> okay, so our next question is about red wine. So we've talked about, you know, of course, hard liquor and we talked about beer. Benny B asks our next question and he says, is it true, doctor, that red wine is good for the heart? It is good for the heart. Um, there are some good chemicals in red wine. Um, the one that's uh, really well known right now is, is Reservatrol. That one is um, one of a, a strong antioxidant, so it will prevent um, blood from clotting as easily, um, keep the blood a little thinner, um, and uh, red wine can be quite healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Well, again, you know, like uh, we'll deviate one moment because you know when we see like some of those old movies or the old cartoons, they always say how there, there's that big, you know. Um, the big happy dog that goes along and saves people in the snow and they give them like a little bit of, um, I believe it's whiskey. Is it? Right, right. Yeah. Does whiskey necessarily warm you up? Well, um, alcohol will cause dilatation of the blood vessels in the skin. And so you may have a, a feeling of warmth, yes, mm -hmm. um, because when you're freezing cold in the snow, I'm from Canada, I know about that, <laughs> and uh, you're freezing cold, your, your uh, peripheral circulation, meaning in your fingers and toes, your blood vessels would be clamped down and very, mm -hmm. very small. You won't, you'll feel very cold in those fingertips. Um, and when you drink alcohol, it dilates your blood vessels, so there'll be more flow to the extremities. Mm -hmm. Of course, that can be quite dangerous if you're um, hypothermic, meaning your, your core temperature is already dropping down and now you're sending your blood out to your extremities. Mm -hmm. That could really put you at, in danger. But um, it is, it is a, an old myth, I think, that the dogs went around with their little jug of whiskey. Oh, okay, well, so some of those iconic St. Bernards may be out of business. So. Yeah. Okay, so our last question, we got about 20 seconds left. John Doe 
asks, and I can maybe see why this person will want to be anonymous. He asked, Doctor, can excessive drinking cause sexual problems? It can. Um, uh, alcohol diminishes the amount of testosterone produced in the testicles. So that means that you will have more feminizing effects. That means that, that you'll see men with, uh, of course, the beer belly. Actually, their testicles are a little shrunk shrunken, and um, they will be developing some breast tissue. Um, in addition, their hair will be thinning. Um, and uh, their sexual function will be decreasing. So I think it's important that he consider cutting back. Okay. All right. Well, good tips. Thank you so much again. We'll see you next week. Thanks. All right.